Hello. So, um, I'm gonna make a uh, plan with me for the weekend. However, this might be a little bit of a chatty video. I am having a lot of fun planning this week because there are a lot of things going on. Um, this week is the, you know, kind of like the week before back to school. So there's a lot of, um, we have like spirit night, we have meet the teacher night. It's also my 10 year wedding anniversary um, this week. And my hubby has planned a special surprise date. We have not gone on a date um, without kids in eight years. <laughs> So I think um, today while I plan, I'll tell y'all a little story time about that of why it's been so long. Um, but we're going to plan for Saturday. Saturday, um, I also have a special event, which is the, it's a planner meetup for Texas Planner Babes. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to use my Planner Land washi from Coffee Monsters Co., Although I also want to use this new one. Yeah, let me use this new one from Paper Kumako. It's called Crafting Life. Cause I also want to hoard the Planner Land one. <laughs> I know. Let's see, I think I'm gonna use those little black dots with it. Am I? No. I'm gonna use this little black lines with it. That'll be cute. Um, so. Story time about why my hubby and I haven't been on a date alone in so long. Um, so, we live pretty far from family. Let me get some light out here. And um, that's basically who I trust to watch my kids. I, I just have, you know, a lot of anxiety around leaving my kids with anyone except family. So, um, I usually when it's our anniversary or it's a special occasion, we just go out as a family. I mean, we love spending time together as a family anyway, so it really hasn't been that big of a deal as y'all might think. Um, I think if you have, let me see, I want the panda to be at the top. So I'm going to choose this little chunk of washi right here. Sorry if my head's in the frame. At least I fixed my hair and stuff today. So there we go. Um, so I'm filming this on my lunch break because I don't have couch to 5k today. And after work, I'm going to go get a pedicure because tomorrow's date night. Um, my hubby, he has never... Um, even whenever we usually go out as a family, he never really like is the planner of it. Um, usually I do that. So this time he just totally surprised me and said, hey, we're gonna go on a date for our anniversary. And I've already made us reservations, which I thought was so sweet. And he's like, we'll order the kids food in and we'll go eat early. And then um, we'll come back by like nine or 9.30. So the kids won't be here too late by themselves, but my daughter is almost nine and my son is um, almost 17. Well, he's 16. He'll, it'll be January before he's 17. So they're definitely old enough to stay on their own now um, for a couple hours. Although I still wouldn't want to leave them like late at night or anything. Um, let's see, I want a different chunk now. Cause I don't want it to like strictly repeat from the top, but I want to make like my own little washi full box right here. Um, so back when my daughter was first born, um, I did have a friend, her name was Melanie and she was living here for two years, um, while her husband was here on a contract job for his company. And they were um, from Germany, just visiting the US. And I met her in my book club that I was in at the time. And she lived really close to me. And we just ended up hitting it off. We're still very good friends to this day. We do FaceTime and text um, a lot of pics of our kids. We send each other 
um, like Christmas gifts, birthday cards, like all of that good stuff. At the time, she did not have any children and she didn't have a job. So I was working at home, but once a week I had to go to the office. So she would watch Emma um, in my home once a week while I went to work and I would just pay her cash. So that worked out very well for both of us. Um, and I really trusted her. She was just so, so sweet. Um, and I really trust my son. He is always playing with my daughter at home whenever we're all here together. So this summer we have had a really um, easy time not having to get any childcare or anything while I'm working um, because he helps out during the day unless he's at color guard practice. In which case, I mean, like I said, my daughter's almost nine, so um, she entertains herself pretty well these days. But whenever I was first working at home, when my daughter was a newborn, it was really hard working at home and having younger kids. Oh my gosh. And my son at that time, he was younger too. He was um, eight when she was born, but he was living with his mom um, until he was, I think, 12. He started living with us. So anyway, and then, yeah, when, when he was first living with us and stuff, Emma was just still too little to like leave them on their own. Probably starting when he was like 14, I felt comfortable leaving them for like an hour if I just like ran to the store real quick or something during the day or if I had to go somewhere for work, I would leave them alone. So, but this is gonna be the first time leaving them alone for like a little date night. And we are gonna pay for him for his babysitting time in the evening. Um, but I think that it's gonna be um, just a good thing and maybe we'll start to make it like a monthly thing because it's been far too long. Um, the last time that we really went on a date, like I said, was eight years ago when Melanie was still living in the States. She lives um, back home in Germany now. And that was also for our anniversary and we had gone to um, raw sushi here in Houston and city center. And that's a sushi chain. Um, and we had our first date at raw sushi in Dallas when we first met. So that's why we had gone there. Um, I don't really know where we're going this time, but he says that it's a little bit fancy. Um, and the dress code is business casual. So I'm going to wear a dress and sandals. So I need to go get my pedicure. I did my nails at home this week, but my pedicure um, I just don't feel like doing it and taking off all the gel polish off my toes and stuff that's currently on there. So I'm just going to bring my polish with me and get my toes done to the same color. Um, so yeah, so in between in the eight years, we have tried to get a babysitter, but like I said, I don't want to just use like care.com or just like any random sitter just because, um, I just really don't trust people. Like honestly, it's, my kids are my life and it's just not worth it to me. And I just, we live in a really big city. It's not a small town where people know each other really well. So, um, you know, most of the time, unless you have family, it's gonna be pretty hard to find that person that you trust. Let me see, I wanna make some dots, but I'm not exactly sure of the color that I want to use, let's see. That one looks pretty good, actually. This is the Zig Clean Color Dot in Butter. I also have this one. Uh-oh, this one's in Japanese, so. That one looks good, too, because it has, like, a little orange in the back. Okay, we'll use that one because it's a little bit darker. Okay. Because so I want to put some dots over here. Um, so yeah, in between that time, I had tried to get a different babysitter a few times. Once was from a hostess at work and I really trusted her, but she lived far and she would, on the weekends when I worked in the restaurant, when my daughter was younger, the hostesses were always working if I did happen to be off on a night. So that never worked out. So another manager that worked at that restaurant with me, um, he had sitters that he trusted and I met them in the restaurant. There were two of them. I tried to get either one of them to babysit for me one time and I set it all up and me and Heavy were so excited to go on our date. It had been like about four years since we had been on one and we were really stoked. And what happened? 
they canceled on me at the last minute. So then I just got very salty about babysitters again. And I just said, for man, just forget it. Um, let's see, let's put the day of the week. It, this we're planning for Saturday. This shop, I'm so sad. I only have a few of their stickers left. It's so what's the plan? And she closed her sticker shop. But I really, really want more. <laughs> um, but, oh, I don't think I'm going to use it today because it's going to cover the bear's head. I don't want to cover his head. Let's use this one. I'm pretty sure this is Planner Kate one. I'll get from a kit leftover or something. Um, that looks cute. Okay, so then I got salty about that. Um, then Brayden came to live with us and... Okay, let's see. The planner event. So let me mark that off before I forget. There's a planner event from 12 to 4. What am I going to use to mark that? Hmm. I think I have... Something that says meetup. I thought I had some meetup stickers, but maybe I don't. Um, okay. I like this washi and it still matches and it but it's a little bit different. Where is it? My yellow this. And then I'm gonna use a box sticker. Which I have told y'all, I think. I don't really care for box stickers that much. Ever since I stopped happy planning, I just don't really care for box stickers. I'm just like, unless there's something, you know, kind of unique. So I'm excited um, this week that there's a lot of activities going on. And my kids are really excited and they're really well behaved. So it's really fun taking them um, places. Oh, that is another thing of why I really you know, wasn't that worried about getting babysitters all these years because my kids are really well behaved. We can take them like anywhere and, you know, they will mind their manners and, you know, be so thankful that we took them. Even if we go like, um, probably the fanciest places we have gone are like Fogo de Chao, Perry's a couple times. Um, Hibachi is not really that fancy, but you know, that's like a special night out for us as a family. Most of the time we just keep it casual and go like Tex-Mex or something. So, but my hubby, um, I will tell y'all, let me tell y'all a little bit more about the anniversary. Um, I got him, he wants some colognes, but he doesn't really know which one. And he doesn't have really any except one nice bottle that I've bought him in the past. So, um, let's see. I'm going to use some little samplers to help me with this. playing with me here. Um, so I got him this, um, Armani cologne sampler on Amazon and it comes with five small bottles, but they actually are the shape of the cologne bottle, which is really cool. That was like 70 bucks. And then we had made a pact to stick to a budget, but Y'all know I, I can't stick to a budget to save my life. Um, I did not stick to the budget, but also I knew he wasn't going to stick to the budget. So I wonder, I know I have a meetup sticker. I'm sorry. I'm just like determined to find my sticker that says, maybe I'm thinking of meeting, but I swear. Oh, but look, I have the up. Look at this set up. And then if I can just cut the meet, you know, set a meeting, and then I can make it say meet up. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some sticker surgery, y'all. Okay, so, um, sorry, my rambling is getting a little bit much, and I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, his gift. So, I got him that, and then, um... I'm also having a nothing bunt cake delivered to his work, which I have done one time in the past and he really, really liked it. Um, so I did that again. I was considering some other things like Tiff's treats, um, 
which if you're not here in Houston, I'm not sure if you're familiar with either one of these companies or if they're national, but Nothing Bunk Cakes is basically a, um, it's bunk cakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a pound cake, but with frosting on it. So I'll insert a picture of the one that I chose for him. So he's really excited that football season is coming. He's a big Dallas Cowboys fan. And um, so, oh, that looks so cute. And now I need some kind of like planning sticker. Um, And so I got him the one that is the colors of the Dallas Cowboys. And the best flavor to me is the white chocolate raspberry. So I got him that one and I got um, balloons with it. Oh, this is so cute. The little planner ninja. It says plan on his little head. I'm so excited um, also for this meetup because I haven't seen the girls in a couple months since we did the planners at Tiffany's um, planning conference and they do like Friday night planning zooms but I have a lot of work zooms during the week so by the time Friday night rolls around I am like so zoomed out okay that looks cute I think and then I think I still want one of these little stripey boxes Or look at these little dot boxes, like some kind of a patterned box, if I have one. Oh, I don't, but I have this yellow one. Um, it's not often that really I want a box. So I tend to just use samplers. I need some white out. I'm being very fussy about this, aren't I? Um, anyway, I got him the Nothing Bunk Cakes, and I'm going to have that delivered to his work. And then that evening, we're going to go have our date, which, of course, we are so stoked about because we haven't had one in years without our kids being with us. Um, so that is going to be amazing. So I want to really dress up and have my makeup looking nice, my hair, my nails, all the things. Um, I'm not going to buy a new outfit because... I'm just not. Okay. Here's a cute little sampler from Planner Kate. There we go. So I'm going to put TXPB for Texas Planner Babes. Meet up. I'm really excited about that. We um, do D-Stash every time and I am taking tons of D-Stash. So if you are a Texas planner babe, just know that I will be bringing a lot of D stash to the meetup because um, I have so many happy planner sticker books that I don't use and I just need to get rid of them. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see here. I'm going to also use this for my gratitude section. What else can I tell y'all? Oh, I ordered some different inserts. Um, and I know what y'all are probably thinking, like, you just got these inserts, and I did. But I've ordered the same ones. I just ordered the A5 size. So these columns are the same size, and then this column is just, um, this is shortened. And then this is, like, in half, and it fits in the A5 ring agenda, because I just really miss my A5 ring agendas. Um... So I'm really excited. I've already ordered those and I cannot wait to get them. And they come from the Penny Pages and, and I order it on Etsy. I'm pretty sure she also has a website. I just prefer to order things on Etsy because it's just um, more convenient. Like all my info is already saved in there and all that, you know. So usually I prefer ordering on Etsy. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. I'm just looking through these samplers to see what else I could use that I haven't used in a while. These are super cute. Okay. Let's see what else is going to be going on on 
Saturday. Probably not much besides that meetup. Um, oh, I love these. I'm gonna keep those out where I'm gonna use them more often. That's a cute weekend sticker, Planner Kate. I think I'll use that. Although it's not that matchy matchy, but I still like it. This spread is getting a little bit, I don't know, different. Yeah, maybe I'll put this at the top. Instead of the get these done, I'll put weekend. That's pretty cute. And then I have some paper Kumako stickers that are matchy and I want to get um, one of the coffee stickers and put it on at the top. Here they are. So we're meeting at the library. And oh, that one's not going to really work for what I'm trying to mark. Here we go. I'm going to go to Starbucks on the way. I have a Starbucks gift card from my hubby that I've been hoarding and I haven't used yet. So I have this little sampler from Black Dog Sticker Co. She's having a sale right now, just so y'all know. 40% off if you want to check out her shop. And this says Coffee Now. So I'm going to on the way to the meetup, go to Starbucks. I wish my inserts would come before the meetup, <laughs> my new inserts, so I could play with those, but I know they won't. I've only ordered them two days ago and they have to come from Canada, so that's not realistic. Let's use some other Coffee Monsters Co. stickers to mark that I'm going to sleep in. I'm going to mark my steps of the day. Yesterday I got 8,000 steps. That's a lot for me, but I did my couch to 5k. I took a walk and then I also um, went to an event at my son's school. So we got quite a bit of steps done through that process. Let's put down a TV sticker as well. Can mark off what I'm binge watching. I'm trying to get through Game of Thrones. I'm on season three. I've been watching it every evening because I want to catch up before the new series comes out. It's pretty good. It's not like my favorite series ever, but it's got me interested to keep watching it. Some of the scenes are a little bit too much, too graphic for me, so I just fast forward those. Um, and I still get the gist of the plot, so that works out. What else do I want to mark? I probably want to mark off um, dinner time. Here we go. Why was I having such a hard time finding a fork and knife. I'm gonna use a black because the yellow just doesn't um, pop that much sometimes. Mark off dinner time there. And this is Saturday the 20th. Man, August went by so fast. I know that's so trite to say, but it really did. I felt like July kind of drug on. But then August just went by like, boom, so crazy. Um, okay, I'm also gonna make some, as I like to do, some lines for my gratitude. And then I'm just gonna make some lettering really big that says planner meetup. They have them once a month, I would say, but I don't always attend, so 
forget what was going on last time that I couldn't go, but I'm really happy that I'm able to go this time. Let's color that in with the Zig Clean color dot. Because that color is a darker yellow. I love this paper. Um, someone was telling me that Penny Pages has a printable. So if you guys want to check that out. But I don't want to bother with getting more printer ink. Which my printer ink is pretty well run out. Which I noticed when I printed some stuff. Uh, some free printables from Coffee Monsters Co. I was like, oh no, my printer ink is like out. Um, I don't, so I don't want to bother with buying the ink. I don't want to bother with printing and cutting the pages or punching the pages. And her paper is just so like, look at that. You literally don't see anything through that. But it's, it's a cardstock. I mean, these, I don't know what GSM this is, but every page is like a cardstock. So I am more than happy to hurry up and wait for the shipping because the quality of this planner is amazing. Um, what else do I want to mark on here, guys? Saturday is getting pretty full already. Let me mark my, um, medication. I'm in a pretty good habit of taking my meds, but just when I write something down, it helps me remember it. Okay, these other stickers are like shoes and coffee, which I don't need. Um, oh, this is so cute too. I just love these. It's like, if I can find an excuse to use them, I will. They're gonna run out so quick. I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna put another one. Oh my gosh, I'm just like stickering this page just to do it at this point. I'm gonna put another one over here because how cute is that? And then I'm gonna color their little shirts yellow. I noticed some people in Coffee Monsters Co. group color in their moodies and I think it's adorable. So makes it pop, makes it a little more matchy matchy. Okay, that's it for this plan with me, y'all. Thank you for joining me. Oh, wait, I said that's it, but look. Doodle headers, happy mail. But it looks like very crafty with like the washi. So I'm gonna add this here. Oh man, that is so cute. And I love it. Um. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it for real. Thank y'all for joining me for this plan with me, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.